I am here with the ultimate baller shot caller. <laughs> she just won again. <laughs> Another one, as they would say, Katie Moon. Katie, how you feeling, my friend? Uh, feeling so good. So happy to walk away with the Diamond League trophy. I've always wanted this one. And, and then just knowing my season's over, it's just such a good feeling. Season is over. So that, at, that lends the question. What's the go-to cheat meal that we're gonna that we're gonna divulge upon? Well, you know what's funny is this is my first off season being celiac. I yeah. we talked it, and I had just come into my preseason and found that out. So I don't know yet, but it's probably gonna be a lot of sushi and Thai food and things like that. But to to be honest, I feel like I don't have a huge cheat meal because I I tend to just eat kind of how I want throughout the season as long as it's like good quality food. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not super strict, so I'll probably just eat a lot of sushi. <laughs> I'm with it. Listen, eat whatever you want to eat. It's all good. <laughs> Consistency is the name of the game for you. You show up and you show out every time. What, what, I guess the best question to ask or best way to ask it is, how do you stay so consistent? And it's proof of what you did today. Honestly, it's just what my coach has been teaching me. He just, he taught me how to think and how to focus on the runway and just every time I come down the runway I'm very present and just telling my body what I want it to do. Does it always work? No, but it really helps just being mentally mentally present and again once you tell your body what you want it to do not only does that help you do it but it helps keep a lot of the emotion and the anxiety and the stress of the competition at bay mm -hmm. um so yeah, i'd say it's the biggest, biggest are you having fun yes this is the most fun that i have ever had pole vaulting this entire year last year was really tough but i think finishing out the year with the win at worlds was just really awesome and knowing that i had such a rough year and could still do that there instilled a lot of confidence in me and I think that combined with the new diet the new I mean they say your gut health is directly related to your mental health and I was always a very anxious person and ever since going gluten-free which obviously my body needed because I'm intolerant it's I felt so much more relaxed and laid back and even on days that are bad days I'm it's fine okay I, I see that. So I can't ask you the question about the bread. That's what I've been asking. There is gluten-free bread. There is gluten-free bread. It's not quite okay. the same. But let's just say, oh, I have, let me ask you this. What if they made the bread gluten-free, essentially? So like, and Food Number's going to give you an endless supply. So Olive Garden, Red Lobster, Ooh. Outback, gluten-free bread forever and ever is all yours, depending on which one you want. Um, why can I not? Texas Roadhouse. Yes. The rolls, the fluffy rolls with the cinnamon butter on unmatched that or red lobster cheddar bay biscuits it hits differently they're doesn't so it so good they are so good <laughs> katie moon champion again call her champion because that's what she is i appreciate you my friend thank you